Hello, everyone. And welcome to What's on Saturday. Welcome to What's on Saturday for the week of the 16th through the 22nd. 16th through 22nd. I hope you guys had a good sales week. Mine was kind of slow. I Mine, think. like, started pretty high and, like, plummeted. Like, I think my last sale for the week, I had one sale on the last day of the week, and it was my lowest sale. So literally, like... It's been a graph going downward. I'm just upset. I feel like I usually do better, like, more toward the latter half of the week. Because I feel like people get paid. Possibly. And my whole Poshmark closet is one big impulse buy. <laughs> so, I hope that you guys enjoyed the Thursday video. I oh. feel like if you have not seen that one yet, Please I go give it a check. think you should go check it out. It's not just because it's our video, but I think the information is extremely helpful. Very pertinent. Yeah, I mm -hmm. feel like compared to, like, other ones we've made, it's definitely one of the more, like, most helpful, mm -hmm. in my own it's opinion. very informative. Like, if I was very not serious. us, I would appreciate that video more than I know a lot of the other ones. I think I said in it, like, I wish that this type of video existed when I was, like... Yeah. Because yeah. it's, like, you know, there's a lot of stuff about, like, how to get started, how to do this, but, like, to go a step up, yeah, everything kind of drops off. Or just kind of know? things to, like really streamline it and like make it mm -hmm. easier on yourself once you're at the point of like wow i have like a good functioning business that i have to put a lot of work into mm -hmm. those things really like take the load off which is yeah. like super nice and it like doesn't come around often so mm -hmm. it's they're all very appreciated anyways okay. so this week like i said is the 16th to 22nd i did not have any sales through instagram or through email i had one so i posted an instagram picture a day or two ago of um all these lovely band t-shirts and lovely little eva messaged me about the beatles t-shirt and oh. she snatched it on paypal oh good so eva thank you so we didn't do i don't think we had any hauls go up this week on youtube mm -hmm. or on instagram so i think that's why that happened on the 16th which is the first day i had four sales and three my first one was this pair of mother hustler white flare jeans i've noticed that mother is the only brand that you can actually sell white jeans under mm -hmm. i cannot sell it i cannot sell Frame, white jeans red ever. bone levi's even they don't do good no mm -hmm. actually even i think i sold a pair of white levi's later in a week Ooh. but basically mother's like the only one i've seen any luck with and they sold for 45 and gave me 36 which normally for mother i'd probably want more but again white denim and me like ugh. yeah and these were ones that were sold at anthro so i listed them under both and i've seen people ask what we mean by that so we make two separate mm -hmm. listings one same information same pictures it's just for know. brand one we pick anthro and one we pick mother and then you just delete mm -hmm. the other one once it sells because some people are really connected to like mother or like frame mm -hmm. or like made well and then you know if they are sold at someplace else like somebody who isn't necessarily like really yeah. familiar with like denim brands <clears throat> may see like this pair of jeans and be like oh i remember seeing those like in the store yeah I buy some them. some people like swear by their jean brands and so yeah they'll be like browsing mother but then there's some people who are like they are more want... store oriented they're versus, like, like i want brand. jeans but i don't know what kind so let me just like look under anthro and see what there is yeah yeah and i feel like with anthro people don't necessarily always know brands they just kind of see it as like anthropology anthro. yeah mm -hmm. and the easy way to do that is as soon as you post like say i put them under mother first as soon as i hit post do edit and then do the new copy feature and then just change the brand and that's it and mm -hmm. it'll post it under both yeah. that's the easiest way to do that anyways my next one went to ava so I'm assuming it's the same Ava. She's, it might be. She's a good friend, and she's the one that plays Animal Crossing with me sometimes. Yes. She purchased. Yes. I think it is. We talked about KK. KK slider. Finally came to my island. Um. Anyway. So she purchased this bundle of this Madewell puff sleeve cable knit cardigan, Lululemon multicolor striped crop leggings, Lululemon. <laughs> I haven't been able to say Lululemon near as much as we used to. I know, to. it doesn't sell as well anymore. And then these this Sad. new with tag Free People Citrus Print mini dress that's so cute. It had lemon and orange slices all over lemon. it. Ava has great taste. I was going to say, Ava, I like that citrus yeah. print. Yeah, and she purchased all those for 100 and that will give me 80 Then this sold so fast because broken record alert, but like we always say accessories from free people or anthro sell Ooh, like crazy the urban ones too yes don't count them out free people suede western leather belt i just happened to see it at a consignment store and looked at the brand and i was like oh yeah oh mm -hmm. interesting and i think i paid like 10 which might seem like a lot to pay for a belt to flip but with free people sells for 34 and i got 2508 double your money Good and then flip. some and then my last one on the 16th was my best all week by far and probably my best all month 
is it possibly your, is my it best for the quarter. It was this Coach Tall Tatum Whip Lash Leather Tote. Tall Tatum Tote. Um, this was by Coach 1941. If you did not know, that is Coach's like runway line, and line. that is the leathers that are like so intense and so expensive and mm -hmm. so high quality. And Milan purchased that. She has bought for me before. She is so sweet, and she's from Hawaii, Funny. which I'm always so jealous about. Do you ever think about that? We live in the Midwest, in the middle. Of, I think like, you say that every in time. the middle of cold country and there are people that are just like i live in hawaii out on the beach every day they just gotta go to the beach <laughs> she also she posted a picture of her little french bulldog in front of her huge stack of sales so also congrats milan that oh, was a lot of sales that little bulldog like, dang she, yeah so cute. Dog, so cute and she bought this for 400 i did have it priced at 800 because that's like the going right on them but i wanted to give her a good deal and so i will get 320 so thank you so much, Milan. I hope you love it. It's so, so it's nice. so nice. I remember he found that in Des Moines <clears throat> and we brought it home and my mom was like, what, are you get a hundred dollars for it? I was like, no. A little bit more than she that. She was astonished at the coach prices, which I yeah. thought was hysterical. Okay, so I had three on the 16th. My first being this pair of new without tag, Free People Levi's baggy light wash overalls. I bought these for me and I realized I kind of looked like a saggy train conductor in them. So I sold them and I hope you love them, whoever got them. Uh, so for $40, I made 32. Then I sold this new without tag, Ted Baker blue flora bikini bottom, sold for 30, I made 24. Then I sold this Minnetonka brown suede fringe western purse. I didn't know Minnetonka made anything except shoes. I didn't either. So, uh, and that's, sold for, and that city's not that far away from me. No, so sold for 30, I made 20. $24. $30 sales all week. So on the 17th, it's my day that I had my most sales, and I had seven of them. I had three again. So my first one, oh my gosh, thank goodness these are gone. These Teak's Tan Brown Leather Ballet Flats. Okay, so there's so much hype behind Rothy's and Teak's. Low key, I'm over it. And every time I have them, they honestly <laughs> they take me- They so bad. They take me a while to sell. I don't know why. Um, I got a pair of Rothy's. If somebody wants to send me a $50 <clears throat> offer on them, they're size like six and a half. I got the box. I don't want them. <laughs> I think I think it's just you gotta find the like rare pack because then they sell for a ton. They sell fast, but mm -hmm. they make a good Instagram picture. I was gonna say. That. So <sighs> these sold for eighty five, and they gave me sixty eight, and they're also size seven. So Debbie tried them on, and she's like, I don't get it. <laughs> Janet tried them on too. Jack had a pair again in Des Moines, and she was like, Why are these gonna sell yeah. for three hundred and fifty dollars? But those were like a rare print. Hardcore so, collectors. Like, I get yeah. that. Then the next one was this vintage Dickies dark blue denim pair of overalls, and these sold for thirty, and I will get twenty four. They were a good size, so that's why I picked those up. And people like boiler suits, yeah, overalls, free people, and jumpers. urban outfitters, and probably even Anthro mm -hmm. have sold Dickies like overalls. They sold so. Dickies. They sold Levi's. They sold um. I think like Carhartt. Lee, Carhartt Lee Dungarees yeah. is a big is having a big moment. Yeah, so check the style if you find them. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this vintage embroidered western leather belt. I love picking these up at the bins. Sold for twenty bucks and gave me thirteen eighty eight. Then I sold this Everlane cotton tan swing trench coat. It sold for sixty and gave me forty five eighty eight. I think Thank like God. a week after finding it, I saw Nick had it in one of his hall of clocks, and I'm hoping I sold it faster than him. And th that coat's probably sitting somewhere in Joe's house, you know? <laughs> then I sold this <laughs> Sorry, Free People Square Deck Tunic Boho Top. This was a really old Free People label, but there's actually some people out there who want some of the older pieces. As mm -hmm. long as they, like, as long still as it's look kind of cute. Like, too funky. Yeah. We've all seen some of those, you know, Phoebe Buffet, yeah. like, undid in some air. This was pretty cute. Cardigan. This was pretty cute for being so old, though. It sold for 20 and gave me 16 Then, another very good sale. My... Probably my favorite brand to resell. New tag Veronica Beard Scuba Snap Navy Blazer. I have a lot of Veronica Beard Blazers because I hunt those puppies out. Like, if there's a good deal on them, I will find them. Mm -hmm. And it sold for $275, and I get $220, and I probably paid $50. So I Which do pay like, up for them, but like, it's very, very When you it. turn 50 and 220 after everything's said and done. <laughs> Next was an item from my own personal collection, and you'll clearly be able to tell that it's something I owned at one point, just based on what it is. Moschino Jeans Black Star Print. That's kind of a weird title. Star Print, Moschino. I think Ryan bought them for me, actually. I did, and they didn't fit. But, yeah, they just didn't fit me that well. And they also were, like, 
kind of that like stretchy denim material and like, mm, like not my favorite right, if my denim isn't at least 90 percent cotton i don't buy it and so they sold for 50 and gave me 40 but they were like vintage they also were like kind of washed like the mm -hmm. black had washed into the white stars whatever mm, 50 bucks 50 and that bucks. was it on my 17th okay so my first on the 17th was this free people sequin red plaid soft blouse i paid too much for this at a consignment store so i'm just glad i made my money back sold for 23 i'm at 1840 then i sold this outdoor voices steeplechase bra rose quartz size large sold for 28 and a 22 40 this was a bins find and i'm shocked nobody <clears> picked that that is so amazing outdoor voices is one of those newer like athletic-y like loungy wear lines i was gonna say but they also make out. not just athletic yeah it's like um what's it called athleisure i love them even though then again like lulu makes a lot of not athletic stuff now too i, think I feel like that's like just kind outdoor of voices is not near as expensive oh no as even though it lulu keeps its resale value yeah and it sells better way faster and kind of like a lot spiritual more gangster than lulu so mm -hmm. Next, I sold this Free People Black Moonshine Cold Shoulder Sweater. I sold this sweater umpteen times, umpteen different colors. Sold for 23 I made 1840 Then on the 18th, I had three sales. I had two. My first one was this Smart Wool Color Block Wool Scarf. Now, this only sold for 15 but that was because it had holes like like it was a piece of cheese. Like, it <laughs> it, it had a lot. Um, but even, like, broken Smart Wool. Like, yeah. you'll see, I sold one earlier, later in the week. Yeah. And, like, it still sells for, Usually like, it sells with flaws. awful money. This was kind of pushing it, though. Like, it... <laughs> a lot of flaws we, we pulled I, some stretches. I was i was about a, like a week away from just getting rid of it it Cinder, sold for Cinder 15 and gave me 12 but you know you went she's happy i'm happy then i sold Day. a bundle and it was these levi's 505 straight jeans aritzia new with tag levi's wedgie straight white jeans so there's some white ones mm -hmm. and then urban outfitters wildflowers graphic crop top it's like the only piece from urban outfitters that i can sell i do love that flower crop top i've sold it twice now i love it and all together she offered me 120 which was like a great offer it was priced at like 145 and i was that's like, a really good deal i was like yes and so i get 96 then i sold this pair of sam edelman black horse bit loafers that's like the only style of sam edelman i feel like i can sell is those like i can do the embroidered mules there's one i think it's called the penny boot because it was mm. from anthro and then um the like gucci Dukes. Yeah, the horse bits. Those are good. The like Chloe's. Um, and, the and it sold for fifty, which was good, mm -hmm. and gave me thirty seven eighty eight. So that's I definitely try to pick up the Steve Madden and Sam Edelman like horse bit loafers yeah. or mules or whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my first on the eighteenth was this Anthropology Raga rose print long sleeve wrapper. Sold for twenty dollars. I made eighteen. Then I sold this vintage Levi's gray denim button down shirt jacket large. Um, I got this for me and I just didn't love it, so I sold it for twenty dollars and I made sixteen. It's a very common theme for Ryan. Buy something, never wears it. And then or I'll wear it in an Instagram picture and then sell it. Yeah. <laughs> then I sold this Yumi Kim floral tie waist Liz romper. I love Yumi Kim. This one sold for fifty with a shipping discount. I made thirty seven eighty eight. Then on the nineteenth, I had three. I had one that you just read. Oh, okay. So my nineteenth was my Yumi Kim romper. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> Sorry. So my first on the nineteenth was this Barbour anchor graphic sweatshirt. I absolutely love finding Barbour. I think everybody does. It sells so fast. It's yeah. It's one of those kind of outdoorsy brands that just does really well. It's like smart wall. Yeah. Like, even if it's, like, broken, you can still get, like, a good chunk of money for yeah, it. Yeah, this wasn't, like, very outdoorsy, um, but it sold for 35 and gave me 28 It was super cute, though. Mm -hmm. I love me an anchor decal. Then, proof that Lululemon is drowning. Lululemon Shine Gold Mock Neck Sweater. A year ago, I probably could have got, I like, got, 60 like, 60 to 70. 70 bucks for these. Mm -hmm. um, this sold for 30 It had, like, two likes, and I got 24 Please, below, <laughs> let me know if you think that Lululemon is basically she's kind of like i'll pick up the bags and the leggings i'm, I'm not yeah, gonna pay it for any i am anymore. not saying i wouldn't get it anymore or that it's a no low or anything but be very selective so don't picky. get the tank tops don't get you know, even like the long sleeves don't do that well anymore. oh no and there's just, like, no use, there's that one yeah there's like the i think ones. it's called the swiftly swiftly anything does good there's like that's like the one rule but even like shorts the they shorts you used to be able to get like 45 the and bags like, i would still pick up the yeah. bags would do good so like, let us know what you think about that i know one time in one of the premieres i was like don't you guys think lulu's like dead yeah. and a few people were like yeah we're like, but it's so oversaturated please let me know in the comments please don't do you still have everyone. luck with lulu and then my last on the 19th was this Anthropology Heartloom Red Pink Plush Sweater. And it sold for 30 and gave me 24. And I... That was... Did you that, was my, that was my foot on the foam. <laughs> I cannot leave that in. Oh my gosh, could you imagine? <laughs> you should just leave it Just leave one in. Just go like, and... 
<laughs> you oh should. No, your face is gonna be all red. I know. <laughs> I can't, like. Okay. I sold this Anthropology Heartloom Red Pink Plush Sweater, and it sold for 30 and gave me 24 and I actually do have another one of this exact same sweater. This was a medium. I think I might have it in a large, but... Mm -hmm. They're, they're really so soft. Heartloom sweaters are... Mm. It's like Heartloom sweaters and Smart Wool and Spiritual Gangster have this, like, secret little place in my heart where I just get so excited to find them. Like, mm -hmm. they do so well for me. I love them. I know. Oh. Whenever I find them, I just give them to Jack. And I have another one if you're interested. Perfect for Valentine's Day. Then on the 20th, I had one. Okay, I didn't have any. <laughs> my one, obviously... <laughs> 20th was not that great of a sale. What day was this one The 20th. My one sale was this pair of Nike Pro neon snake print shorts. And they sold for 30 and gave me 24. I don't sell all Nike myself that I find. Mm. But these were Python, like, print and... Those, like, bike shorts do pretty good. Yeah. Those, like, little skinny ones. I just knew they would do pretty good. Then on the 21st, I had two. I had five. My first one... Oh. They sold in, like, a few hours. Vintage embellished crystal vintage beret. Ooh, that I am, yellow one. I am like loving selling berets. Berets. They're, I, mm, they sell so well. They do. Um, it sold for $30 and gave me 24 And like for an accessory, that's. That's, that's pretty a, good. $30 that's, for a little hat. Yeah. And then my last on the 21st was this Madewell Road Tripper straight black jeans. Another thing that I've noticed it doesn't do very well anymore, but <laughs> these, these actually sold okay. I think it's because they're straight leg. Everyone yeah. always finds the skinny skinnies, and those, like, don't do that well. Mm -mm. Sold for 45 and gave me 33.88. Okay, so my first on the 21st was this Marc Jacobs black short sleeve unicorn tee. I thought this was so fun. I got a $45 offer, so I made 36 Then, broken smart roll, still sells. Smart roll gray, a base layer short sleeve top, sold for 16 with a shipping discount. I got this at a dollar sale mm. at Goodwill. And it had, like, stains and holes and rips and, you know, everything else. And it, I still got $10. And then I sold these mm. Thry Veronica short crack leather Cute. boots. I found these at a Goodwill for $8. They missed them. I was so excited. They also sold so fast. I had one lady, she asked like three or four questions. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's one of those people. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to ask about the shaft height and, and the leather material and what was the name of the cow they were made from. Yeah. And then she sent me a hundred dollars. Can you give me the address of the farm? That the no, cow literally. From? She was like, what's the shaft height? And is there, you know, cushion inside? And I was like, yes, whatever. Da, 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 da. Uh, hundred dollars off of $8. Perfect. Then I sold this new tag to me maroon ruffle cosmetic case. Sold for $35. I made $28. That was a bins find. Then one of my old wallets, because I have too many. A Marc Jacobs Continental Zip Around Leather Wallet. Sold for $65. I made $52. That's it. Then on the 22nd, like I said, I had one measly, really bad I had one sale, sale and it went to uh, one of you. One of you. My, beautiful. mine didn't. My one sale was a... <laughs> Which is some stranger on the internet. <laughs> new with tag Title Nine print bikini bottom. And they sold, return customer they sold for 15 She had bought my other pair of Title Nine same size print bikini bottoms. So she came back and bought the others for 15 and I get 12 But they mm -hmm. were from the bins and I wasn't going to skip $15 them. $15 out was of a little say, like... It's also bikini bottoms. I'm not going to get more than that mm -hmm. for it. Um, okay, so mine went to Cam. Which... <laughs> I don't know if she's from Texas. I don't think she is, I'm but I will say like she is. So she sent me the cutest little message and was like, oh my God, I find you on Instagram. I love you and I love your videos. It's like, Cam. Thank you. <laughs> um, so she got this new tag, Free People Puff Sleeve V-neck black top, this really cute pair of vintage Levi's 501 cuffed crop Rahem jeans, this Ikea mini tote AirPod tech change bag. Sometimes I don't know what I'm reading. Mm -hmm. uh, this new with that tag, Urban Outfitters, Lou Mock Neck Cream Urban Polo. Outfitters. Urban Outfitters. <laughs> Uh, Lou Mock Neck Cream Sweater. I've sold this, I think, two or three times in the oh, past, gosh. and it is one of my favorite Urban Outfitters pieces to find. Urban Outfitter. Urban Outfitter. Anyway. Uh, and then she got these Vince Black Leather Pointed Toe Giorce Flats, and the bundle sold for $125, <clears throat> a minus a free shipping. So I made 92 and some change. So, Cam, thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So my gross for the week was 1,519. So I actually had a really good gross and I'm going to thank Milan for that. It's so Milan. Thank, thank you, Milan. Thank you, Milan. And thank you to the woman that bought the Veronica Beard Blazer as well. That very much boosted my sales. Base. Yes, it did. Mine was 650. Which like? 650. 650. That's not that bad. You know? And then my nut was one thousand one hundred and ninety-three and forty-five cents. Mine was 506.53. Which mm. is a steep downhill from the past two weeks I feel like I've been having. But, you know, 500 bucks is 500 bucks. Yeah. Most of the stuff didn't really pay up for it. came from the bins. Yes. So, 
So as usual below, let us know how your sales week was. And again, please answer my question. Do you think that Lululemon is like, what, what Lululemon pieces would you pick out? I'd like, what get, would you get excited about? I'd still get like coats and like, I would still pick up sweaters. I just yeah. won't pay as much for No, them. like I am I have, more... I have a sweater of Lulu that I've had for at least a year. Yeah, I've had one. And it's a rare one, months. and it just will not move. I am kind of in the vein where, like, I'll just take advantage of the thrift store employees when they miss it. Yeah. And I'll pick it up for three, four, five dollars. Yeah. But, like, I'm not paying them for it anymore. Someday in the future, Lulu's gonna be, like, miss me. Where, like, the thrift stores are still marking it at, like, 40, and we're all like... We're all like, you idiots. <laughs> I hope so. That would be so All funny. All the tanks will be marked at like 70 and we'll be like, okay. And then we'll get it to bins for nothing. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, so thank you guys for watching and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on Tuesday's video, yeah. which will be something. And I don't know yeah, what we're doing. we'll see you on Tuesday. Goodbye. Bye.